Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Let's discuss further into uh, laws of logarithms and look at the proof for this law, which is ln x divided by y equals to ln x minus ln y. Or these are natural logs. It works with any any base log a, b, whatever it is, or log 10. So uh, basically, this is a part of my uh, laws of logarithm video series. In my last video, I went over the proof for this one right here, and I'm going to prove this one in this video but I'm gonna use this first proof so make sure to watch that in my last video basically uh, to go over these laws is if X and Y are positive numbers and R is a rational number like I showed in my earlier video rational numbers just any number that's uh, that you could write as integ integers let's say let's say 2 over 3 that's a rational number 2 is a rational number uh, 1 over 3 that's also rational anything you could write in integers where the bottom is not 0 so uh, and now I'm gonna yeah basically when you have this case when you have x and y are positive numbers and r is rational then the first law is ln x y equals ln x plus ln y and the second one ln x divided by y it's the same thing but ln x minus ln y and the last one ln x the power of uh, r is equal to just r ln x you just bring that down I'm gonna prove this in my next video so make sure to stay tuned for that so let's go over the proof for the second one right now yeah so here I've written uh, the law 2 right here now the proof of this uh, this law well the first thing you should notice is that you could write this similar to uh, basically um, the first law so you could write ln x divided by y as a multiplication instead of a division. So you could write it as ln of x times it by 1 over y right here. So now it's a multiplication of these two. So what we can do right here is basically use law 1. And it, make sure to watch your proof from my uh, last video on this. So if we use it, this would basically equal to ln x plus ln 1 over y right here. Yeah, and now the only thing we need to do now is to find out basically what this part equals to. And, and the way we could do this is if it's once again if we use this uh, law 1 again. So we could go right as if we write, or here actually I just uh, typed this out. Basically using law 1 where ln x, uh, xy, yeah, ln xy equals ln x plus ln y. But if we replace, let's say, x with uh, equaling to 1 divided by y, let's just say we had that then in this case we're going to get basically ln of uh, 1 over y yeah, times it by y. So this is for this case and then we're going to have ln 1 over y and then plus, yeah, plus ln y right here. So as you can see in this part this y is cancelled so this will equal to basically ln 1 and when using our uh, basically ln 1 and if you look at my earlier video on logarithmic properties this just equals to 0 so then when we uh, s solve for ln 1 divided by y we could write it as ln 1 divided by y and then basically move this to the right side this equals to negative ln y so now we know that this part right here is equal to negative ln y and then basically I'll just write that down equals negative ln y. And now we've basically we've proven the theorem and we could, if we could plug this all in, we'll get ln x over y is equal to ln x and then minus ln y. And this is basically the proof uh, for law two. Yeah, so anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this, it's pretty straightforward proof. I'll go over this one in uh, my next video, so stay tuned for that. And make sure to watch the proof for this one uh, in my pr previous video. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this video. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.